Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan. And Ricky Gervais is the only celebrity that regular fans would have turned into the Oscars for if he had been hosting. He seems to really get what the fans' perspective of these adult pretenders are and how little we think of them. He really understands that, even though he's among them. And so if he had hosted the Oscars, I think they would have gotten a lot better viewership than they currently did. Even with that whole Slapgate fiasco, whatever they're calling it now, it still got the second lowest Oscar ratings in history. Even that drama wasn't enough to save it. But this man, this one man, could save it. So it's really interesting to see his comments on the situation and how he claps back at them for all the hypocrisy in Hollywood. Now, a lot of people have come at me and say, hey, why do you like Ricky Gervais? He has politics you don't agree with. It doesn't matter what my politics are. It doesn't matter what his politics are. That's my whole thing with this entertainment sphere is even if it's politics I disagree with, as long as it's done right and done well with talent and flair as old Doctor Who was. A lot of Doctor Who, I don't agree with the politics that it's propagating, but it was done with such talent that I could relate at least. So I don't care if he politically is very different than I am, but he has the same opinions when it comes to valuing the opinions of celebrities as a whole and that's what's more important to me it doesn't matter what he believes it doesn't matter what i believe but we're united in the common cause of mocking these self-aggrandizing narcissists who think they're so much better than everyone else and so much smarter so that's what's important in the situation but we got this article here from bounding the comments that breaks down his comments and his clapback at the academy and the oscars and celebrities as a whole for the whole fiasco and he reveals how he would have hosted the oscars which would have been a million times better than the three women that they got because they were very cringe i actually have a video breaking down the entire oscars from my perspective i watched the entire thing that be linked above but let's jump right into this article with Ricky Gervais's comments. Uh, comedian Ricky Gervais mocked the 94th Oscars while also sharing how he would have opened the show. He also took shots at Will Smith slapping Chris Rock during the ceremony and a lot of people have asked I'm not on either side. I don't I'm not on Chris Rock's side. I'm not on Will Smith's side. They're all just you know adult pretenders idiots. I don't really care. It's just funny to watch them go after each other and a lot of the people picking sides it's also kind of funny to see them go after each other i do think chris rock came out of that situation looking the best but it's still i'm not on his side either so gervais responded to a tweet uh it was this whole deal it's like retweet if you wish ricky gervais was hosting the oscars tonight and <laughs> i very much agree with that sentiment i really would have fucking loved to see that. That would have been one of the best Oscars in history. But Gervais responded by revealing how he would have hosted. I'd start with, hello, I hope this show helps cheer up the ordinary people watching at home. If you're unemployed, for example, take some comfort in the fact that even if you had a job, your salary probably wouldn't be as much as the goodie bag all these actors have been given. See, he's perfect at getting the normal person's perspective in that world. And that's why they hate him so much is because he isn't coming at it from their top down perspective. He realizes that he's way up there and sometimes he makes jokes about, yeah, I'm super rich. It's great. And those are funny too, but he understands the bottom up perspective, at least in the sense that actors see it as, and they actors hate that about him, that he will tell things how they are. And it's pretty great. And, uh, he, he would have spit fire, just like he did at the Golden Globes a few years back and would have been great. Uh, in a follow-up tweet, he said, I'm proud to announce that this is the most diverse and progressive Oscars ever. <laughs> That's a badge of honor. Oh, man, he would have been fucking hilarious. Looking out, I see people from all walks of life, every demographic under the sun, except poor people. Obviously, fuck them. <laughs> see? It would have been the greatest Oscars of all time because it's all about mocking the celebrities. That's what people want to see. That's what people at home want to see because this is an industry award. None of these movies, majority of them, no one actually saw these movies that are being praised and winning awards. No one gives a shit who wins. But if it was someone as entertaining as Ricky Gervais mocking them for everything that they're doing, picking movies that no one's ever seen, actors no one knows about, it would have been enough to get those fans into care about this and that would have just been a lot better performance and a lot better show with a lot better viewership uh gervais would go on to reveal that he would finish his speech with revealing it would be my career <laughs> yes yeah i mean he kind of already finished his career with the golden globes uh, deal he said a few years back but yes this would have really put the nail on the coffin mocking celebrities to this degree when asked if he would be making similar tweets during the actual show gervais declined saying i'll be asleep hey I, I wish I had been too because 
a hammer to the nuts would have been more enjoyable than watching those three hours of hell. Along with mocking the Oscars and everyone involved, he retweeted an old clip from his sitcom The Office. In the clip, uh, his character says, particularly for his wife, so he's got alopecia, so not a happy home life. <laughs> it's very relevant. Uh, the David Brent music account would also provide commentary on Will Smith cra- slapping Chris Rock. Yeah, it's just going more into the joke from that account, but that's not really Ricky Gervais. Yeah, lots of memes. There's been a lot of incredible memes coming out of this whole situation. And I don't think this is really even his. Uh, this account I don't think belongs to him, so it's fine. We'll just move right through those. All right, that looks like the end of his comment. So, yeah, just a lot of fun seeing a Hollywood celebrity mocking the idea of Hollywood celebrities and the pompousness in which they, you know, self-aggrandize themselves in this circle jerk of an event. It's literally for their own benefit and nobody else's. That is the definition of the Oscars. No one cares anymore. Not in the last few years, at least, because these industry awards, they don't really denote quality anymore. Back when Lord of the Rings won a ton yes those oscars meant something it was like yeah you really deserve this nowadays these movies no one's seen they're not even very good like don't look up is a terrible movie but it got nominated for half a dozen oscars so yeah no one gives a shit anymore so it's great to see someone within that bubble mocking the very sphere that he's a part of and just saying hey we're all just retarded that's okay and you know he he just says it so poetically and so succinctly that it's just always entertaining to hear him and he's just the best that we've got when it comes to celebrities. I don't agree with him on a lot of stuff, but just the way he perceives the world around him is a very interesting one and a very entertaining one that I look forward to seeing more of in the future. See him clap back at celebrities more and more because it's always going to be entertaining coming from this man. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.